Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix five nights at Freddy's into the pit game, crashing, not launching, not loading, lagging, freezing, or other issues on PC. So let's jump to the solutions. First method is to restart your PC. For that, click on Windows icon over here. Now click on Power, then select Restart. So this will restart your PC. After that, check if you can lose the game. If not, next is to run game as administrator. So for that, uh, you have to go to the file explorer. Now go to the Epic Games folder. Here the game is installed. Select the game application. Right click on it. Click on properties. Now click on compatibility. And then select run this program as an administrator. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Now launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. If not, again come back. Select run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7. Then hit on apply and OK and launch the game. If it doesn't work, again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and OK and then try to launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. If not, next is to verify integrity of game files. For that, uh, go to Epic Games. Now go to the library section. Uh, select your game. Now after that, click on manage. And here you can see verify option. Simply click on verify option and this will verify the game files and after that check if uh, the game is launching or not if not next is to add launch argument so for that you have to add minus dx11 and check if it works if not type minus dx12 so go to epic games under library section select your game click on three dot icon click on manage now here you can see launch option enable it and type minus dx11 and then check if uh, the game is launching or not if not again come back here you have to write minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and see if this resolves the problem if not next is to update your graphics card for that go to the windows search over here now search for device manager then expand display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will check and update your graphics driver after that uh, check if the issue is fixed NVIDIA and AMD users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next method is to run the game as, uh, as a dedicated graphics card. For that, go to the Windows search, search for graphics. Now here you have to add your game to the list. If it's not added, for that, click on add desktop app. Now go to uh, the program where go to the folder where your game has been installed program files then here epic games select the game application add it to the list now after the game is added after the game is added click on windows icon over here now under gp preference you have to select high performance and after selecting high performance try to launch the game and see if this resolves the issue next is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the windows search search for windows security now here you have to click on firewall network protection allow an app through firewall click on change settings now here search for the game you will get it if you can't find the game then click on uh, allow another app and go to the browse section now here you have to select the game application add it to the list now the game has been added make sure both private and public boxes are ticked then click on ok and after that launch the game and see if this resolves the problem next solution is to stop overclock cpu and gpu settings so sometimes overclocking makes the cpu and gpu unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of the cpu gpu in the background this will help you to fix the issue next method is to check graphic settings of the game when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution etc then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues so make sure to set up the settings properly and even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue. Next method is to close unnecessary background tasks. For that go to the windows search, search for task manager. Now under processes tab, here you have to search for those apps which are of no use but it's uh, running in the background. Now after selecting them, right click on it and click on end a task. So this will close the uh, game or app completely and after that launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. If not, next method is to update windows. For that, go to the windows search, search for check for updates. Now here uh, you will have to click on check for updates option and it will check if any update is available. If there is any update, update your windows to the latest version and then try to launch the game. 
Next method is to disable antivirus program. So if you are having an antivirus program, then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issue. The antivirus program blocks the game and you cannot play. So if it is so, then you are suggested to check the settings of the particular program or disable it to play the game hassle free. Next method is to install Visual C++ files. For that, I have already provided the link in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser. Now, after the website opens, go below. From here, you have to download the Visual C++ files. Now, after the files are downloaded, you have to install them. Now, after installing, restart your PC and then log into the game and check if this resolves the problem. Next method is to increase virtual memory settings. For that, go to the Windows search, search for View Advanced System Settings. Click on Settings. Click on Advanced. Then click on Change. Now here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed. After that, click on custom size. Here you have to type 1, double, 2, double, 8. And in the maximum size, you have to type 2, 4, 5, 7, 6. After that, click on set and then click on OK. After that, launch the game and see if this resolves the problem. If not, then the final solution is to reinstall Five Nights at Freddy's into the pit game. For that, uh, you have to go to Epic Games. Now, uh, click on three dot icon and then here you can see uninstall option simply click on it and this will remove the game completely from your system after that restart your pc after restarting again launch epic games then uh, and reinstall the game once again and then try to launch it and check if the game is launching or not and you can play the game without any kind of problem so that's all for now in this video thank you